Hello and welcome back to another one of the DB Daily's vlogs. We're down here today in Watergrass Hill at Cartworld and we're down with the VAG.ie Show and Shine event for 2022. So come on, we'll go have a look at some of the cars and have a walk around. Right lads, so welcome back. We're going to have a quick look at some of the unbelievable cars that are on show here today down in the VAG.ie show and shine. And first we're going to start off with this absolutely stunning green Mark 1 with the 20 valve conversion. Work is absolutely phenomenal from top to bottom. Absolute nut and bolt to perfection the whole way around in it. As you can see here as well lads, we have the full carbon roof on as well. And it's not just stick on, she's actually proper carbon skinned roof as you can see from the inside that TJ has there as well. Absolutely fantastic. Loads of carbon bits and bobs on it, even back down to the arch spats, the petrol cap and even the front and rear bumper, all carbon out as well. Paint jobs, absolutely immaculate, like glass. And it keeps going and keeps going. Beautiful Mark II blue. Stunning car as well, and then back around then the Tigs Mark II that we would have seen on DB on the key. Savage spec with CAE shifters. Uh, CAE? I think, yeah, it looks like CAE shifter. The whole lot, like rally spec nearly on the inside, which is very rare to see with the kind of, the gla glitz and glamour of the car show, but stunningly done, the finish is absolutely spectacular on the car in the narrow grey, and then Spoiling up the back of it as well, it can be very rare to find some of these now that are not cracked and broken and bits wrong with them as well. But fantastic car again. And then back down to another absolutely beautiful diesel Mark II. And the paint on this is absolutely next level. And uh, TJ, I'm not sure if these are E30s or E50 BBSs. Absolutely stunning face mounted as well. Stunning wheel on an absolute stunning car. I'm sure you'll all agree. Even down to the finish there of the bolts on the quarter panels, all brand new stainless bolts. Absolutely perfect. Uh, as well, William Brogan, you will be cursing me over here as well with the paneling on the front of the diesel engine as well. It can be very hard to find. It's fantastic to see a car in this condition uh, out on display for the day. Unbelievable spec on the car. Uh, something as well that me and TJ were admiring earlier on, so the interior on it, from the exterior of the car as well, it's nearly like an original finish on it, so they haven't messed around with like Alcantara steering wheels or anything, it's still matching the dash with the steering wheel and it's absolutely lovely, even the subtle touches with the boost gauges and all set inside in the vents and then the, obviously the Recaro seats there as well, stunning, absolutely stunning car. Alright lads, we're lucky enough to bump into the owner of the absolutely beautiful Nardo Grey Mark II. So Tiger, you going to give us a few words about our big dog? Uh, I suppose, look, I suppose, look, it's, it's probably seen around a good bit now, fellas, and I know it is a 25 turbo, hybrid turbo. Look, after that, uh, Cupra, brakes, OZ, wheels, we actually I bought from uh, Dalton's, so look. Shop local lads, I'm shopping shop all local, the local yeah, support Irish businesses. Look, do support Irish businesses, I would say, it, look. Um, after that, lads, I would say, if you you see how hard it is to get a show going. There is a good crowd here, like yourselves, lads. Once we support each other, like it is going to work out. Like, it, it really is. Like it really is back to each other. Like so, lads. I say thanks to you for coming up. It was an easy spin. Um, I know the spin because I do it the other it's way. The I, do spin, it the, yeah. I do it the other way. I know the, the, the price of petrol now, the 20 valve should be sucking it in on the way down to it. I am halfway down there anyway, so I'm not too bad. Like I'm on the bottom nearly. So, lads, I would say thanks for the travel, lads. And, it's excellent. Keep it going. Now, something we have, something we have to say here now. So we're contemplating it. Is it a CAE shifter that you have in, or what do you have in at the moment? I can't tell you. You have to oh! drive. You have to drive. You have to drive. That's uh, trade secrets or scene secrets. Trade secrets. Trade secrets. <laughs> uh, yeah. We, but yeah, no, she's absolutely stunning, stunning car. Absolute credit to you, mate. And we're just saying it's great to see something as well with kind of more like a, a kind of rally spec on the inside of it but still at the same time holding on to that clean look on the outside and don't forget to turn the spin as well we I know I know we're trying to nab Danny now for an I interview we'll as well him. with the green we'll mark one like, but we'll, we'll have to nab him but yeah, yeah the, the quality show, the quality car down here today mate is absolutely amazing and it's a credit to all you guys as well for putting this together like we know the organisation that goes on behind it but it's great to see lads getting out in their cars and like even for people's mental health with the whole Covid thing and all it's great exactly. for lads to come exactly. together and have a chat and like we're having the old interview here now and talk and about the cars exactly. and shine them up exactly but I would say lads look you can see look even look the cars are travelling from the north and stuff like the standard of cars in this country alone are phenomenal like. phenomenal, they are phenomenal. Yeah. Like, like I was only listening to the I Love Bass podcast earlier on on the way down 
and the boys were chatting away about like the quality of car in the country and they were saying like like Max Power and all them boys like they were all coming to Ireland like to get all their features and it's great to see that such such a small country yep. can put together such a, a profile of cars. Well. I agree with you like but like, I suppose key for us is I suppose it wouldn't happen with sponsors. It yeah. really is sponsors like and you can see like it does make the show having sponsors like and for us like with the overheads of that getting our sponsors in early. Yeah, oh, and it can't be and repeat yeah. sponsors it is our biggest thing, like it is repeat sponsorship. And the big thing and we've seen it from your your Instagram and all and our Facebook and stuff as well. The thing about the sponsors, you have to support your sponsors as well. Like, like we would have seen, like, say, we both work with Pirate Garage. Like, but oh, it's good yeah, for Larry, us yeah. to give back to Larry. Oh, exactly, so, like, yeah. we're putting his name out there as well because we trust the products that he has and we use them on our cars and our pride and joys. But it's good that the sponsors help us out. And on the flip side, then we help the sponsors as much as we oh, can. Oh, look, well. like, like Larry, like, 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 details, like, we can't knock it. Like, like, without Larry, I suppose. I wouldn't have any knowledge. You have yeah. questions like, what really works in the paint? Why am I doing this wrong? I'm most of user error like so. Uh, yeah. like he does but why is the sandpaper not bringing out the I, shine? I, I can't understand it. Like, <laughs> I've kind of come to the conclusion to paint the black and be grand. Like, yeah, it's grand. Matte black. Matte black everything. Now, we just want to say thanks very much, mate. And look, at an absolutely fantastic day again. And uh, thanks very much for your time. Pleasure, Cheers, thanks, thanks a million, Thank man. you very much. Love it. All right, lads, so it's a car that's close to my heart because the man that owns this behind me is Tom Kavner and he's the man that I bought my camper off, so Elmo the T5. Okay, just have to stop at this. It's absolutely immaculate Mark 1 Golf with a 16-valve conversion on the, on the carburetors. And then it's the small details that Tom goes into, everything from the brake lines to the suspension setup, everything as you can see here is absolutely phenomenal immaculate. Even things he's not even showing off here in the front of the car, he's actually rocking a, foot, a set of Willwoods underneath the BBSs. You can't even see him in there underneath the wheels, but the fact that he's gone to the effort of everything, the quarter opening windows, the seats all retrimmed, and the paint is absolutely immaculate on this car. And I'm sure everyone will agree, she's absolutely stunning and looks great in the sun, and it's great to see it out and about. So just whipping around here again, lads, just having a look cross section of what else here, everything from your GTIs, golfs, and then down to Mooney from the reserved, down to his GTD, looking absolutely savage down here today. It's not the reserved, it's... Tev reserved. <laughs> then across then to Emmett's Octavia, and then Emmett's brand new old school Jetta. Just let this yeah. be a professional hand model. Looking absolutely amazing. Can't believe the man got the car in such good condition. Uh, looking savage, even the paintwork, original paint. <laughs> That's Emmett right there. Looking amazing, lads. And uh, it's great to see the car out for the day as well. Thank you very much, Emmett. All right, lads, so just to go back to the, diver the diversity of cars that we have here today, we have the brand spanking new ID5 supplied by Blackwater Motors here in Cork and Fermoy. Absolutely stunning car if you're into that kind of thing. Personally, I'd rather they explode in dinosaurs than electric, but it's brilliant. And then we're going to flip you around back to the rat style Mercedes that we have here. Absolutely amazing car, slammed on the floor, and it just has that perfect look, everything about it. The extra pieces added to it, the barrels, the bull's horns in the rear, the bags, everything just makes the car exactly what it has to be. And yeah, fair enough, some people might say it might be their taste, but you have to appreciate the craftsmanship that goes into making the car look like this. And then even into the back, the way he has the old suitcases and then the sound system hidden in the back is absolutely phenomenal. And we're absolutely in love with this uh, Mercedes as well. Fantastic, and the owner is a pure gent as well, and catch him on Instagram as well. So we're here with Josh, so he's one of the organizers of the show today and we just want to catch up with Josh and his absolutely beautiful Mark II Golf with the 20 valve turbo conversion into it, yeah. yeah so I'll leave you away, tell us a bit about it. Yeah, so it was originally actually a uh, Schwartz blue, blue black color and got a re full bare metal respray um, in bright blue metallic. Uh, 20 valve engine, it's actually an AGU engine, so a throttle cable, nice. but it's been it's been plumbed, so it's like a, a TT, so the, the inlet manifold runs from right to left as opposed to left to right. Yeah, nice one, yeah, yeah, cool. Yeah. yeah so then the intercooler radiator is in a custom setup then from a guy in the UK, Fresh Reflections, you might see him on Instagram, yeah. um, so it's that's uh, custom as well. Um, the interior then was done by Carl Conlon in Dublin. Um, Beautiful, a, yeah. So we got some, got some old Recaro LX seats. Yeah. Uh, 
uh, got different fabric from uh, VW Heritage and Kantara. Yeah, yeah. And he put them all together and he did an amazing job. Uh, yeah, a they're fantastic they're job. We'll get a shot of them now in a second as well, yeah. Mm. And then what the colour on the car actually is absolutely stunning. It really pops in it. Mm. And like, did you do the paintwork yourself? Or? Oh, no, God, no. So, um, Bartosz, um, Bartman Restorations, he's in, uh, he's just outside from Oi, and yeah. uh, he painted it. And then a guy in, um, in Lismore, uh, uh, Daniel from DM Detail, and you probably know him from maybe from Park and Chill. Yeah, yeah, he, yeah. He, he prepared this for a dub shed um, a couple of, uh, at the start of the year, and he did just a fantastic job. Amazing, unbelievable. I really couldn't, I can't rate the guy highly enough because he, he wants to get the car better than what I'd want it. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So can, his job is that the paint, uh, he, like, and making that paint he, pop. He just, he did not, so it's, it's been ceramic coated. He did the wheels as well. Uh, the wheels are uh, BBS RSs. They've been, um, they were, I bought them, I think, in Poland. They're redrilled 4 by 100 so they're, and they're, I think they're two and a half inch lips at the back. But the backs actually have 10 mils shaved off the inside. So nice one, yeah, yeah. It actually sits 10 mil in, so it can do the lip without having to roll the arches. So. Without having, yeah, without having yeah. to go destroy and re, uh, get a really big rusty arch then afterwards, yeah. like, yeah. yeah. exactly. But no, she's absolutely stunning, mate, and a testament to you. And look, we want to say thanks very much for the day as well. Yeah, cheers. cheers. Thanks very much, Josh. Alright lads, so just to show the absolute variety of cars that we have here on show today So as TJ see in the background, we have some beautiful old Beetles in the rear Coming back then to their split screen that we see in the front Absolutely stunning split screen, immaculate condition again, inside and out And then we're whipping back around here on the far side Back to our absolutely stunning Porsche with the metallic paint on it Absolutely stunning pop in the, sh in the sun And then if TJ flips you back around again then we go back over here to our up or Lupo uh, GTI and then back into the likes of your Mark II GTIs and the variety of colour here today on show is absolutely unbelievable and then back around this side here then we have our Pirate Garage so a sponsor for ourselves and also a sponsor for the VAG.E show Larry's flat out here trying to punt stuff on the lads <laughs> but it's great to see Larry down here for the day and as well we'll have Larry at our shows coming up in the future as well so make sure to stay tuned for more Alright lads, so we were chatting to him earlier on this is Ray's absolutely amazing 640 BMW again, the work that this man's put into it the quality of the paint work on it down to the wheels, I'm sure everyone can agree absolutely amazing car top to bottom the carbon fibre wing mirrors and then carbon fibre effect on the roof then as well and then the whole way back down it's great to see these in a three door such a big car in a three door and then back down then the carbon on the rear spoiler as well absolutely amazing and then the diffuser setup that he has as well is absolutely stunning uh, a real testament to him and then it's either his cousin or his nephew he said as well brought down his cc for the day and the two cars together look absolutely stunning together absolutely fantastic spec on both wagons and then the metallic in the black here as well really pops in the sun that's down in the beautiful cork for the day and again with the max and lips on the front absolutely sets the car off to a t and it's great to see him down then going across then we have a beautiful little white tt with a model in the window as well so matchy matchy with the two tt's and then down to pj's bagged caddy so we've all seen pj's bagged caddy and in the future we do have an episode with tj and we'll be going through or sorry pj and we'll be going through this whole thing as well uh, pj and tj and we'll be going through this caddy inside and out with with, uh, with himself and then absolutely stunning inside and out again the spec then with the renault sport for caros suit it down to the ground it's great to see the match over with the, the, the Renault seats in the in the caddy and then back across then the Jack Fannin's Golf massive show winner across the country lads this car literally can't be faulted on any aspect uh, everything from the carbon uh, scuttle panel down to the build of the intakes the front the front carbon lips the front carbon grills this car is nearly carbon front front to back uh, looking absolutely stunning down here for the day then again and uh, as we've been saying over and over again just the detail that goes into these even the wheels that we see the rotor farms that he has so i got these rebuilt literally bought them sent them straight up to one of our sponsors klc wheels got them refurbished straight off the bat and they are looking amazing here today down at fag.e and fair play jack and fair play cat all right lads so down here as well so hugh's down for the day here with fag.e 
it's playing loads of different bits and bobs and parts and automotive apparel and then he has kind of a bric-a-brac section over the far side you could call it here so Hugh how are you finding the day here today? Yeah very good yeah weather's great so great a vibe here Lo- loads of good cars and so on so uh, people are people are up for the day. Yeah so. and if anyone say that's watching the vlog here wants to get in contact with you for yeah. any array of say retro VW parts yeah. where to find you? So to find me at uh, vwgolf1.com and uh, so normally I do kind of uh, Mark one golf parts, so that's my interest, that's my hobby. So, and then I just deal with Volkswagen Classic then in Germany as well. So, perfect, yeah, deal with them. So, happy days, all happy the best. Out of it. Look, all right, thanks nice to, see okay. you later. Yeah, cheers. So, down at Vag.ie, was chatting to Lance during the week and he said he was coming down. And the great thing is, he probably is going to kill me for saying this. His van that he was trailering this on broke down, but yet, yet again. The old school didn't let him down and it got him the whole way back down here. So he abandoned the van in the trailer and the Mark 1 got him down. But as we've seen it from our show and the fantastic photographs that we had from our event, the Mark 1 is absolutely stunning. The 20 valve turbo, everything about this thing is absolutely beautiful. Uh, not a nut and bolt not unturned on this thing uh, in the restoration. And then the fact that he had the turbo fin in the back, uh, the BBS with the louvers and all as well, it's, Absolutely stunning car, and it's great to see you back out here again in the sun. Look at the shit camper, Ian. <laughs> look, at it, look at the rust. I know. Rust patch. Fix it. All right. Back serious now, that. So, we were talking we're talking to the gentleman that owned this uh, beautiful Mark III earlier on, all right? So, the 16 valve inner, but just the big thing that we were looking at on it was the compromise wheels. So, I've always had a soft spot for these, but what I didn't realize was that he has the Volkswagen Racing six pot caliper up front, and he sent the spec of what he needed for an Ally to of Motorsport and they actually built him a wheel to fit around the brake kit that he has on the front and the rest of the car for the detail that's gone into just the building the wheels he's gone into the rest of the detail for the whole rest of the car Ever, everything through this car again is absolutely amazing but the wheels and the brake kit unbelievable absolutely imp- Im- immaculate all right lads again so back across the way then just across from the mark tree we were just talking about back into an absolutely stunning BMW with a lovely white arch kit on it and can be controversial with the pop rivet kit or actually these are nutted on um, it can be controversial whether to leave them out or to flush it off but personally myself I think it actually adds to the look having the having the ribs on the outside of it as well but stunning car all around again and then Porsche big big brake kit on the front big Porsche brake kit on the front and then down to the little details here as well even in the wings with the venting that we see on the front here absolutely beautiful and then again venting in the in the bonnet with surely a set of Radnox wheels or uh, lips sorry on the split rims on the front of it as well stunning back across then the TJ ship box all right big rusty arches but she's looking well with the R36 front end on it stunning car absolutely timeless has been around for a good few years now and then back across then this absolutely beautiful TT with full split rim kit on the front of it again and absolutely head to toe details on this up and down so guys we're talking about the small details on the cars here and right here table made out of an alley ideal for having your little lunch when you're sitting down here at the car shows and back around again to the front of the caddy that looks absolutely amazing and great to see the vans being done as well not just the cars again lowered perfectly tastefully without being too low and then with the front lip uh, maxim design uh, kind of front lip on there as well looks great you can never be too low take that back. never be too low take that back. and then flipping back around then to a couple of beautiful bmws that we have down here for the day as well and then going from the new to the old and back to the old school then the e30s absolutely timeless car and never be done away with in this country especially for everything that they're good at it's in particular some rear wheel action uh, fantastic wagon and looking great here then on the day as well all right guys so we're stopped here with harem here now and we're just going to have a quick chat about his mark 7r absolutely beautiful car really caught our eye as we're walking around so harem i'll let you have it have the floor what kind of what are we looking at we're looking at a um, stage 2 APR high torque uh, 400 brake um, Mark 7R. Um, it's got all the usual performance bits, R600 intake, intercoolers done. Uh, we've got a full turbo back exhaust system from BCS power valve um, with a uh, sports cat in it, uh, just to pass the NCTs. Um, oil management system from Racing Line. Um, we've got the Racing Line stage 2 big brake kit with um, Motec MCR2 alloys. Um, 
the big break is definitely one that really catches your eyes. Catches, you walk yeah, yeah, like, even with the bonnet down, the very minute you see them up front, you're like, Absolutely. yeah, there's something going on here. Like, yeah. yeah. But so it, she's, she's making about 400 brake horsepower now at the moment. Beautiful, yeah. Um, and she's the absolute credit to you, mate. And I just like to say, thanks very much for calling down for the day, lad. And it's great to have no a chat with you as well with the car. Thanks um, a million. Thanks so much. <laughs> cool. So again lads, fantastic array here of the retro VWs, everything from the said Mark II's back across to the Jettas, absolutely stunning uh, attention to detail and all, especially the, actually the interior in this one is absolutely beautiful with the BBS steering wheel getting rare and rare now all the time, especially with that wood grain effect that's in the middle of it and then these have to be a set of retrimmed uh, leather interior which uh, really stands out and obviously then the timeless BBS RSs and then again like everything even on this like the textured bumpers a lot of people know like the textured bumper bumpers if you get one little mark in this that's it you're going and getting a new one because your ocd uh wouldn't let you away with it with the marks that be on it then back across then to an absolutely stunning mercedes back to another golf and look at it goes on and on and even back down to another transporter here at the far side there's something for everyone here today at the vag.ie show and uh, so make sure you hit the lads up on, on their socials, vag.e or vagera, Instagram and Facebook. And for me, VW Dunner, so thought he can put my tag down here. And the man behind the camera for the day, TJ Bohanna, I want to say thank you very much for tuning in. Make sure to like, subscribe and comment on what you want to see us doing again in the future or what you want to see something different. Or if you want to feature in one of our videos, get in touch. Don't forget to go to the shop dbdailies.com for a wide variety of merch everything from their day-to-day t-shirts to our new p caps and they're all supplied by us uh, from wheeling embroidery based in county wexford as well so for me from tj and from vag.e in cork i want to say thank you very much and goodbye